Hi everybody, I hope you're having a really nice day today. I completely forgot to film an intro for today's video, so here I am filming an intro. I will definitely look different in just a second when we get to the actual video, but today we're going to be talking about the Kylie brushes. There are five of these brushes in her little eye set here, and we're just going to be talking a little bit about them. I'm going to be showing them to you guys, getting all of my like thoughts and opinions on them, and then I'm going to be using every single one of them along with the Kylie Burgundy palette to create an eye look and do a little mini tutorial in the video as well. And then at the end, I'm going to be giving you guys my final thoughts on the brushes. So I hope you guys enjoy this video please go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already it would really really mean the world to me all right now let's move on to the actual video all right guys first things first let's take a look at the brushes themselves i look absolutely crazy with my brows done and no like eye makeup or lips done because all the attention is like right here and it's just like brows Ooh. They're real big. But anyway, back to the actual brushes. They come in a little pouch like this. It is very, very soft. It just says Kylie here at the bottom. It's in a like metallic-y silver font, and this is just like a very soft little bag. This has a pull top here that all the brushes fit into. The brushes themselves come with a little plastic covering here on the bottom, and then they come with like this little plastic like sheath that keeps them from getting damaged. So here are all the brushes after they're taken out of their little plastic home. I have to say the very, very first thing I noticed about these brushes was the smell. It is straight up paint. Like if you have ever painted or varnished anything, that's exactly the odor that you're going to get from these. They are quite stinky. And I feel like I've noticed that being a trend with brushes I've ordered like off Amazon and things like that, or brushes I've ordered off cheaper makeup websites. The I hate to call these cheap before I even try them, but cheaper brushes tend to just have that smell. I don't really have that many expensive brushes. Like my boyfriend purchased this Kat Von D brush for me and the lady at the checkout counter said it was $40. I almost passed out. So I'm not really sure if that's something that happens with more expensive brushes too when you get that extreme like paint chemical smell but with cheaper brushes I have definitely noticed that but I'm sure once these are left out for a while the smell dissipates just like it has with the other brushes I've ordered off Amazon. The details of all the brushes look basically exactly the same. We have a white handle, a black printed Kylie. It's not like embossed or pressed into the wood or anything. It's just flat on top. And then we have a black little metal part here. We don't have specific numbers or anything. It's not like a 0742 taper blending brush or anything like that. It's just you know, a brush. And then on the back here, I don't know if it'll show up on camera, just is very finely, finely etched into it, China. And that's pretty much the only other detail on this brush. The brush construction itself is, you know, pretty standard. I don't know if this is a wooden or plastic handle. I'm kind of leaning toward plastic, but I don't really know. The bristles are very soft, especially on this one here, this little fluffier blending brush, but they are slightly flimsy, so we'll see how that goes. I'm just going to be doing a quick eye look with these brushes. I'm going to be using the burgundy palette to do it since they go together. And I'm going to try to use every single brush so we can get an idea of how they work. I'm going to zoom you guys in. Maybe. There we go. Alright, so I have done a video on the burgundy palette before just comparing it to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. But today I'm actually going to be using it and doing an eye look with it. So yeah. I have used this a couple times before and I have a video of me wearing an eye look with it and somebody asked if I could potentially one day recreate that eye look. So I'm going to try to do that today. Alright, first things first, since there really isn't a shade light enough for me to set my eye with, I'm going to be using the white chocolate shade out of the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette here and just applying that all over the lid with my finger. Typically I like to start eye looks with like a lighter, more neutral, warm matte shade, but there really isn't one that's very light so I'm going to start up here with Beach. And just to show you guys about how much product the brush picked up, there it is on the tip of the brush. Alright, so I'm just going to start blending that into my crease and upwards for a transition color. Okay, I brought that color almost up to my eyebrow and blended it into my crease and kind of built it up in the crease a little bit. I'm going to go back into this palette taking this middle shade here, which is burgundy. I'm going to be using the smaller fluffy brush from Kylie. And this I'm going to work into the crease as well. Ooh. I don't know about that, fellas. I'm just trying to mesh that together a little bit with the original color and then intensifying it in the crease. I'm going to go back in with that original fluffier brush and try to 
meld these two together a little bit more. I am having the slightest bit of trouble with this brush here because of the shape of it. It is kind of like fluffier, but it's also pinched a little bit. And I keep like messing up because I'll turn it the wrong way as I'm trying to blend and it like... I don't know. I'm just having a kind of a little bit of a difficult time with it, but that's probably just me and my lack of skill. But I'm going to continue to use this brush because I'm going to take it down into this pan here, which is brick, I believe. I want to concentrate this a little bit on the outer edge of the eye and then even bring in a darker shadow to the inner corner. All right, next I'm going to be using this more like flat packing brush maybe. And I'm going to be taking the shade, is it LA or Dubai? It's like reversed. I can't figure it out. I'm going to be taking the shade LA with this brush and I'm going to be concentrating that on the center portion of the eye. Okay, it's working. Color's being applied, but it's just not as strong as I wanted it to be, so I'm actually going to take my finger into the same shade and use my finger to apply this in the center of the lid. And yeah, that's already giving me a lot more color payoff. All right, with this more like flat brush here, I'm going to dip into almonds. And I'm going to run this along the underneath of my eye. And this is definitely a very stiff brush. And to smoke that out a bit, I'm going to be taking this more like pointed detail brush and going into the shade Penny right here. And then just smoking out the under eye. This is a very stiff, stiff brush. It's kind of tugging and pulling at my skin. I feel like the center needs a little bit more pop, so I'm going to go into the shade Naked with my finger and just... Put a little bit of this to brighten up the center of the eye. And since my eyes already look like a phoenix feather, why not add more drama? So I'm going to go back into the shade Almond, maybe? And I'm going to be using the pointier skin tugging brush and concentrating this just a little bit more in the outer corner into the crease just to give a little bit more depth. Okay, I'm going to go apply some eyeliner, lashes, and lips off camera and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back and this is the final look. Now, I do not have lashes on because I lost them. Who loses lashes? I have the container with zero lashes in them. I literally have no idea what happened to them. Anyway, this is the look without lashes. I think I prefer it with lashes. It just makes it a little bit more dramatic, but it's this is it. So anyway, this is what we're working with. I used Kat Von D eyeliner, and then I used some of this Mad Lash mascara from the Balm, and then I used a Marc Jacobs lip cream in the shade Hot Cocoa for the lips. All right, but let's get down to what we're actually here to talk about, which is the brushes. So my final thoughts on the brushes are as follows. I think they're kind of cute. I like the black and white. I like the Kylie. I feel like it goes with the rest of her stuff. The white tops will not stay white for long, as in the first time you use them, they will not be white any longer. I'm sure you could wash them and maybe get them back to their original state, but especially using something like the burgundy palette with these darker reds, I don't know how white they will return. Uh, it might be a shade of pink or something, but um, you know, still pretty, still cute. Because the handles themselves are white, they do get kind of dirty. We can see here I already have like eyeshadow and all sorts of other makeup things on my handles. But because they are plastic or really shiny wood, I can't decide which one, you can kind of just wipe it away and then it'll go away. However, the little china that's printed in the back, I feel like that's going to get filled with makeup because this one already kind of is. If you guys can see there, it's much easier to see the word china now than it was before. As far as how they actually applied, I feel like it was okay, like nothing spectacular, nothing super special. I did notice a little bit of patchiness on my lids, but I have very strange eyelids anyway that don't like to take colors that could just be a me problem you know they're they're okay they're just eye makeup brushes I have to say like I get a lot of really really cheap sets of makeup brushes off Amazon and things I also can get them from BH Cosmetics and they're like anywhere from five dollars on Amazon four dollars on Amazon to like ten ish dollars on BH Cosmetics in places like it this is from BS Mall this came with like 11 brushes not all of them are eye brushes but like 11 brushes <laughs> I think it was like nine dollars maybe five dollars seven dollars i don't know but if you just go on amazon and like type in like brushes makeup brushes you'll definitely get a lot of sets that look kind of similar to kylie's for a set of five kylie brushes that i mean you do get the little pouch so five Kylie brushes and a Kylie pouch, you are going to be spending $35. And on her website, you cannot get free shipping without spending $40. So you're going to either have to like add like a liquid lipstick or something, or you're going to have to pay for shipping as well. I got these free with this palette during a promotion sometime around Christmas. And that's the only reason I have these brushes because they came free with the palette. And that's probably one of the only reasons I have this palette was because something free came with it. And I was like, oh, I have to get it because it's free. I'm very bad for that. If there's a deal or promotion, like I will spend my money. They know how to get me. The companies know how to get me. So my overall general thought about these brushes, are they worth it? No. 
No, they're not. I mean, if you're a huge Kylie fan and you just have to own everything Kylie, then maybe they're worth it to you for being more like a collectible type thing. But as just makeup brushes for the average person who wants to put eyeshadow on their eyelids, I say no. These to me are not worth it. You might have completely different opinions and if you do, please let me know down below. I love knowing everybody's opinion. But just to me personally, if I were to have paid $35 for these brushes by themselves, I would have been disappointed. Those are my final thoughts and um, I'd love to know all your thoughts down below. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so very much for watching. Please go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. It would really, really mean the world to me. We do still have our monthly ColourPop giveaway going on, which I'm very excited about. The winner will be selected soon and then we'll start a brand new giveaway. It's going to be very exciting. And as always, I hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!